Once upon a time, a child was born in Bethlehem. Many fairy tales begin with the words, once upon a time. But this story is no fairy tale. It is the true account of the birth of our Lord and Savior. Our story begins with an event that happened to Zechariah. He and his wife Elizabeth were descendants of Aaron, which means they were from the tribe of priests called the Levites. Zechariah was 69 years old and Elizabeth was 65. They had been married for 50 years, but they did not have any children. On this day, Zechariah joined about 300 other priests on a journey to Jerusalem. These priests were going to replace the 300 or so priests that had worked in the temple for the past week. Each priest would be given a job or responsibility to tend to for the entire week and would then return home to his family. Okay, Joshua, I think I'm ready to go. I have my tunic, my belt, and my, and my turban. Are you ready to go, my priestly brother? We do not want to be late. I have just finished fixing my sleeping net, so I am ready. Let's go to the casting of lots. The casting of lots. It always takes a while. Yes, but we will be patient. Amram, you will play the lyre to provide us with musical service. Jeshua, you will serve as gatekeeper according to the laws and regulations. Gatekeeper, I will get to see all the people as they enter. Zachariah, you will offer incense at the holy place in the altar of incense. The altar of incense? I've never been assigned to this job before. It is an honor and a privilege. Zachariah was glad that he had put on his best tunic. His job was an honor. The Ark of the Covenant was in the Holy of Holies, and it represented the presence of God in the temple. The altar of incense was right outside the Holy of Holies. This is where the worshippers came to offer their prayers. Each would sprinkle incense over the burning coals and then kneel to pray. Zechariah went to the altar of incense to offer his own prayer before the other worshippers arrived. Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Ah! Your wife, Elizabeth, will have a son, and you will name him John. He will be a joy and a light to you and your wife and in the presence of the Lord. What are you talking about? I'm an old man, and so is my wife. We can have a baby. Are you sure you have the right, Zechariah? Look at me. I am the angel Gabriel. I am in the presence of the Lord, and you have the nerve to question me? Since you do not believe me, until my words come true, you will not be able to speak. Zechariah walked out of the doors of the temple. He should have been saying, The Lord bless you and keep you to the people as he walked out. But no sound came out of his mouth. Mary was a young girl who lived in a village in Galilee called Nazareth. She had recently become engaged to Joseph, who was a descendant of David. One day, she took off from home to find a quiet spot outside to rest and relax. Hail, hey, most highly favored one. Do not be afraid, Mary. You will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. God has a plan for you. He will be the Son of God, and He will rule in the house of Jacob. Am I dreaming? Mary, wake up! The tall bright light is talking to you. What are you talking about? I'm not married, and I'm so not pregnant. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the Son that you will have will be the Son of God. See, Mary, even your cousin Elizabeth will have a son, and she is very old. You see, nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant. I am ready. Let it happen as you have said it will. Joseph also lived in Nazareth, and he was descended from the line of David. His family could say that so-and-so had a son, and his son had a son, and his son had a son, all the way back to David. 
Now Joseph had been engaged to Mary for a while. He thought that she was beautiful, and he knew that they would be happy together. Recently, though, he had learned something very disturbing. Mary was pregnant. He did not want to hurt her or embarrass her, but he wasn't sure he should marry her either. He could not decide what to do, and one night he fell asleep thinking about the situation. Do not be afraid, Joseph. I am the angel of the Lord. I am talking to you in this dream because you cannot stand still enough for me to talk to you when you're awake. Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. She will bear a son, and his name will be Jesus. He will save us from our sins. I must go to Mary's house and take her as my wife as quickly as I can. All of this took place to fulfill what the prophet Isaiah said in chapter 7, verse 14. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel, which is Hebrew for God with us. Gabriel told Mary that Elizabeth was going to have a child. Mary was the daughter of Elizabeth's nephew, so it was perfectly normal for Mary to visit her family. She traveled to Elizabeth's house and planned to stay for a while. Did you see that, Mary? The big red belly jumping you said hello to me. You're the luckiest, most blessed woman. Your baby is blessed too. Why has God been so good to me that I get a visit from the mother of my Lord? How wonderful! Even my baby leaped for joy. I'm glad that you believe what the Lord told you about giving birth to the Son of God. I'm bursting with God's happiness. What He has done for me will never be forgotten. He has done great things. He is doing what He has promised. Don't you stay there, Doy. Come in and visit for a while. Wild. Elizabeth had given birth to her baby boy. Zachariah hasn't spoken a word since the day he saw Gabriel at the altar of incense. On the eighth day after the birth, members of the family are gathered at Zachariah's house to name the baby. Isn't he sweet? He's just precious. Look at those healthy pink cheeks. His lungs are healthy too. Elizabeth, I can hear him crying all the way down the path to the house. Little Zachariah will need healthy lungs so he can speak for his father who cannot speak. His name is not Zachariah. He is to be called John. But there is no man named John in this family. It's a tradition to name this baby using the family name. Zachariah, explain this to your wife. What do you want his name to be? Zachariah? His name is John? Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has redeemed his people. He offers us salvation. And my son will go before the Lord to prepare the way for him. He will be a prophet of the Most High. Zachariah can speak? Why is this? Because both parts of what the angel Gabriel said are not true. I am an old lady and I have a son. Because of the name of John, the Lord God is satisfied. Caesar Augustus ordered that everyone in the Roman world had to return to his own hometown to be counted for the census. Joseph's hometown was Bethlehem, the town of David. Bethlehem was in Judea, and it was going to be quite a journey. They could not travel directly south from Samaria because the Samaritans were their enemies, and he and Mary might be killed. So Joseph put Mary on a donkey, and they began the long journey. They had to travel east, cross the Jordan River, continue south, cross back across the Jordan, and go west to Bethlehem. When they finally arrived, they knocked on the door of an inn to see if they had a room for the night. I guess we're not What do you want? We need a place to stay tonight. Didn't you hear all that? You can't seriously be looking for a room. Besides, the city is packed with people. Caesar Augustus didn't think about the part when he told everybody to go back to their hometowns, now did he? Besides, she's so big, I'll bet she needs two beds. I don't even have one. Try the other end with the old lady. I can't I can't